Radic 6, first drive off road. Holy, this thing is twitchy. Wow. Wow. That's 4S. Yeah, it's a little twitchy. Suspension's good though. I don't mind the suspension. It's pretty dialed. Yeah, but you see? A little twitchy. I noticed this when I was doing the speed run. I thought, geez, it's, it's, I don't know if it's a diff tune or what the story is here, but... Or if maybe the servo is just too damn quick for me. I don't know. So I'm not running the stock radio with this one. I'm running the um, radio link. Uh, I always forget the name of it. RC6GS V2. That's what it's called. And um, yeah, I reckon I might just turn in my dual rates just a smidge. Um, because I, I don't know, maybe I've got too much steering on this thing. Okay, so I didn't do dual rates. I did something that I've never done on a car before. And that is put in some exponential on my steering. Now if you want me to explain what this is, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I might do a little RC hot kick video on it. Because um, essentially what it does, it just softens the steering a little bit, but you still get full steering when you need it. And this thing, I mean this thing's fast. It's ridiculously fast on 4S. But it is a little twitchy. Not as planted as I'm sort of used to. All right, let's see how it does on the jumps. Okay, let's see how we go here. Let's see how this guy behaves on the gravel. Very nicely mannered in the air. Very nicely mannered, as most 1.8 scale buggies tend to be. Now suspension is stock, I haven't touched the suspension. I haven't touched this or anything like that. So it's all standard. This is really quick for 4S, holy. Or maybe it just feels super fast as well because it's a little twitchy. I mean the servo is lightning quick. I, I would definitely go and say that this has probably, potentially, oh! more power than than the armor does on 4s stock out of the box or at least it's on at the very least it's on par but i reckon it might have the edge but if it feels that way uh the servo is definitely better definitely better but i'm referring to the my typhon 4 uh, 4s my typhon v4 i should say not the v5 i know the v5 has a different servo so that could you know this could be a mute point because the new servos might be a lot better. Um, but yeah, this definitely feels like it's got a ton of power in reserve. I mean, this thing on 6S, I mean, I know how fast it is because I've already done the speed test with it, but uh, it, it's going to be, it's going to be mental. It's going to be mental. This thing's, this thing's absolutely, I mean, that's not even trying to go hard and it's launching up like that off these tiny jumps. It is, uh, yeah, this thing's good. But it, yeah, it's still a little twitchy for my taste. Let's see how we go with the bigger jumps. Whoa, <laughs> lots of power, lots of speed. Nice, soft, cushy grass over there. So you can really launch this thing on 4S, don't be shy. That's full speed launch. Oof, wouldn't bring the nose down. Would not bring the nose down, and it wouldn't bring the nose up then. Took a nose dart in the soft grass. Thankfully, nothing bad happened. Oh, shit. Oh, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. The wind caught it. Oh, Jesus. That was nasty. That landed right on its roof. Oh, look at that shock tower. Look at that shock tower. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I couldn't help that. There was nothing I could do. 
he got out of shape. I'm dealing with some headwind and uh, yeah, it landed right on its beautiful roof. Oh, my poor buggy. I mean, the shock tower, we can bend that back. How did everything else fare? Everything else seems to be okay. Lots of gravel inside though. Wow, that was a really nasty hit. To come away with just that, uh, okay, that's not too bad. The shock, is the shock bent? Is this anything bad? No, no, shock's fine. So we can probably bend that back with a set of pliers, but that's, that's, are we okay? Drive line all good? Yes, drive line all good. All right, so, did it switch off? Because it's not working. No, the fan's not working. All right, I'm gonna investigate this, hold on. There we go, it's working. Time to put the body on and send it again. I'm gonna run it with the shock tower like that because I really cannot be bothered going back to the car right now. Um, but ideally, you'd go back and you try to fix that somehow. Oh, I gotta be a bit more careful with it because I've pretty much crushed the body on this side. And I really love this body, so I'm probably gonna have to get another one. Um, but yeah, that was really unfortunate after a big hit like that. Um, yeah, let's hope it doesn't happen again. Pretty unbelievable. Took a massive hit. That was such a bad landing. But that's the thing with buggies. I mean, you don't have that authority, especially on 4S. The thing is so fast. It was launching so hard. And then the headwind caught it. The jump wasn't good. It was just, see that? It keeps leaning. It actually does keep leaning. Maybe my battery's too heavy. It actually does, because I'm, re I'm running a 6500 milliamp forest. So it is leaning a little bit on that left hand side. But then on that jump, it was fine. So I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that it's coming off that jump at, at times. A bit weird. All right, let's do. See how we can. See, now it's, now it's fine there. It was actually fine. Big fan on that one. Oh, <laughs> you don't see that every day. <laughs> Man, this thing is so fast. Oh. Lucky. That was a little bit of skill and a little bit of luck and a little bit of experience in this uh, track. I knew that it was going to hit on that uh, down slope. And again, all right, one more and then we'll switch over to the Superman jump and see how it fares there. Because yeah, we have to go to the Superman jump. Of course we do. This thing's tough, very tough. All right, let's go. Now I really don't want to kill it here because I do want to do my 6S run as well. I want to do it today, hopefully. All right, let's line her up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Massive kick up off the jump. That was a big launch. Not very far, but it was very high. Ooh, okay. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> this shock tower is not having a good day. <laughs> now the other end's buckled as well. Oh dear. Maybe four millimeters isn't enough at the front like I thought it would be. All right, couple more. It still has a couple more in it. Landed nicely on the other side, that was good. This probably isn't the best jump for this car to be honest, if I'm going to be totally honest. Because I can't jump it hard enough to go over the jump. If I jump it soft, you guys are probably going to think, oh you're not going hard enough. But when I do launch it, it just lands on the downslope of the other jump, so... The speed... Oh, is everything alright? Is everything okay? Yeah, no, sorry. I just thought it, I was... I thought I saw something going on in the rear of the car there, but... Maybe it's just the sunlight... Oh, <laughs> the sunlight or something playing funny buggers on me. Okay, here we go. Oh, ho ho, ho ho. That was a nasty hit. That was a nasty hit that time. 
Well, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm happy. I'm happy to survive. Sort of. I mean, it's not completely without a, a black eye or something like that. <laughs> or a busted lip. I mean, it still survives. Man, it's got power on for us. This thing delivers. But yeah, it's just a little twitchy, I think. I think that might be just dip tune more than anything. Um, and the fact that when it launches, it tends to lean to the... Whoopsies. When it, when it launches, it tends to lean to the, um, to the left. Oh, God, I just got completely showered with pebbles then. <laughs> this thing just plows through anything. Yeah, come on. You know, sometimes just bashing like this is actually fun as well. Just doing laps and taking the odd jump here and there. It's actually fun to do. Because you can be like like this, I can be a lot more liberal with my with my throttle as well. Because when you're trying to jump it, you know, you're, you're constantly sort of like have to line it up, you gotta do this. <laughs> Get out of it. There you go. Oh, a little break then, Smith. Come on. Oh, yes, it's still, it's still up. Man, this thing's unbelievable. And this is 4S. Oh, watch the tree. Man, this thing's sick. Buggy. Oh, hello. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Man, this thing's just cutting grass. Everything is just nothing stops this thing. The radic is just mental. Still going, still going. We're going to keep this going until it either breaks completely I run out of battery or it lands upside down oh there it is <laughs> and there you have it the Radix 6 on 4s first run not the most flawless run I've ever had out here but definitely one that uh, will go in the history books it's done pretty well considering the impacts and the bad landings that it had uh, it's it's survived okay time to take it back to the car put a success in it and go for another run so if you want to see that be sure to subscribe don't forget to hit that like button on your way out as well and check out the video description for links to my socials as well as links to other videos on the radix 6 and the team co rally line that i have uh, on the channel thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time